Hi guys, um, I'm Rachel and this is my first vlog. Um, if you have read my normal blogs, you'll know that I have MS or multiple sclerosis and I blog about that, just sharing my experiences and to raise awareness on the condition. Um, at the moment, I've just gone through a treatment change and my vision has been affected. It's quite badly blurred and my fatigue's quite bad. Um, my day job is working in an office, so I spend a lot of time looking at the computer screen and I, I just can't physically write <laughs> when it comes to the evenings. I'm so fatigued, can't see what I'm doing and I just thought it's been a long time since I've done a blog and I wanted to update people on my most recent treatment change. So I thought I'd do a vlog. Um, I hope that's okay. I don't know if it's going to be any good and I'm so, so nervous, so just bear with me. Um, so yes, so if you read my previous blog, you'll know that I was having a treatment change and that my last MRI had, um, oh, in fact, actually when I did my last vlog, I didn't have my MRI, I was going to have my MRI. So yes, I have had my MRI now and basically my neurologist said that if I had more lesions on my brain, so the bits where my immune system has attacked itself, that I would go on a treatment called Tysabri, which is something that you go into a hospital for once a month and it's as an infusion. Or if my disease activity was increased on the lesions that were there already, but there were no new lesions, um, then I would be switched to Galenia or Fingolimod, depending on which way you say it, which is a daily tablet. Um, both of them carry risks in terms of side effects and long-term conditions that can come hand in hand with taking them. So they're both quite risky to take, I suppose, but I mean, my neurologist did it based on my MRI and I was aware of the side effects and symptoms and had read up a bit about it online, so I knew what to expect. Um, so that was decided. I had a couple of months in between my old treatment ending and my new treatment starting where I was I was still having to inject every day with my old daily injections of Capaxone and they leave horrible lumps and bumps and dents on me which never bothered me before because I was hoping that it was going to be the right treatment for me. Unfortunately it didn't work for me, I know it works for other people but for me it just didn't react well. I just had more relapses and more disabling relapses I suppose you could say and but I think when you're in between treatment change and you know that your previous treatment wasn't working you're just desperate to get started on the new stuff and you kind of think to yourself why am I still injecting why am I giving myself lumps and bumps like this is not ideal so I was really really keen to get started um the only things that I really knew about the new treatment apart from the symptoms and side effects was just that on the day, the first day of taking the tablets, you have to go to hospital for a minimum of eight hours because they monitor your heart because it can affect the heart rate. It can slow it down or speed it up. So they have to monitor you. And that was pretty much all I knew. So they just said, take an overnight bag and just prepare for a long wait. Um, so I took plenty of entertainment with me, so I had my Kindle, my book, magazine, music, everything to just keep me occupied, because it is a long eight hours, um, and an overnight bag, and I was really hoping that I wasn't going to have to stay overnight, because I, who wants to stay overnight? <laughs> I wanted to go home afterwards, I didn't want to be in a hospital, so... The day the treatment came and I was I was quite nervous. I was nervous the night before, but I knew that it was going to be hopefully a good thing. So I went to hospital and as a female, they do a pregnancy test on you just because the treatment can have a negative impact on pregnancy. So if you're looking to conceive, they advise you to come off the treatment whilst you're getting pregnant and whilst you are pregnant. Um, so they just had to check that out for females. I was fine, so I could go ahead with the treatment. Um, so I was sat in like a little armchair thing, had ECG pads, like sticky pads all over me, 
to monitor my heart and I had a nurse sat with me the whole time taking blood pressures every hour um, and this was for eight hours and I couldn't move or anything apart from going to the loo so that was when the nurse had to unhook me let me go off to the toilet and come back which obviously for someone with MS is going to be frequently well in my case it is anyway I couldn't stop using the toilet so yes um but yeah it was a really long eight hours even with entertainment I was quite bored and I was just anticipating whether or not they would keep me in um they didn't give me any indication at all um the first I mean the first tablet you didn't notice anything instantly but I found later on in the day like the more hours that went past if I was going to the loo or stood up or what have you I just felt so faint. I got really bad vertigo and to the point of feeling sick with it. It was quite nasty. Um, and they say that after treatment that you should be accompanied. You shouldn't travel alone or drive or anything like that because it can make you feel really spaced out and horrible. So if you are going to go in for it, either make sure that you've got someone with you or that you're going to get collected. So, And don't drive. Get public transport or something else because it really is nasty. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I mean it was it was all fine. They do say with the tablets that you should take them with food. I obviously forgot, didn't I? I didn't eat breakfast before I went. I had to be there at eight in the morning. There was really bad traffic on the way, so I didn't have time to stop and get anything. Um so yeah, just even if you take a breakfast bar or something, just something to settle your stomach, because it's just it's just better to do, really. So just a little tip there for you. Um, in terms of other things they told me, they said that if you get any sort of like coughs, colds, infections, um, whilst on the treatment that you need to go to the doctor as soon as possible. And that's basically because the tablet makes your immune system weaker. Um, even though with MS your immune system is weak anyway, it just makes you more susceptible to getting flu cold and for it to have a greater impact on you. So for it to turn into full on flu or bronchitis or goodness knows what. But so yeah, they said that if you get poorly to speak to your GP or your MS nurse, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, also, if you forget to take a tablet, like um so say if you take i take mine in the morning so so long as i take it at some point in the day it's fine but you have to make sure that you sort of bring it back gradually to where you do normally take it so if say i took a morning tablet today and i forgot to take one tomorrow um until midday i could still take it but then the next day i'd have to bring it back to like 11 o'clock 10 o'clock etc um however if you forget to take it at all then you have to go back to hospital for another eight hours of boredom and you don't want to do that it's a lot of hassle for me i have to travel um a long way away to the hospital where i'm under care at the moment so it's it's not worth it you don't want to go through it again so um either get yourself a little pill pot or set a pill alarm or you can use on the actual tablets themselves they've got a monday to sunday thing on the back of them which i'll show you in a minute um i had a meltdown where I nearly forgot to take my medication on one of the days when I was at work. Um, luckily I had my mum come and deliver me some tablets because I was freaking out. Um, I knew it would have been okay if I'd come home and just had it when I got in but I think it's just the first few times you're taking it you just want to make sure you're getting it right. So yeah, definitely learnt my lesson with that one. Um, so yeah, in terms of where I am at the moment, um, I'm not gonna lie, it makes me feel horrible, the treatment. The first couple of weeks when people say, oh, how's your treatment, have you got any side effects? And I was thinking, no, I'm fine, this is nothing. It's, don't really feel any different at all. I didn't feel better, I didn't feel worse, I just felt the same. Um, and for me, it was when I got to about week two and I felt just as faint as how I did in hospital. I felt really, really unsteady. My vertigo was horrible. It just felt like the world was completely spinning and I had no balance. Um, a couple of times at work I've had to go and have a lie down in the sick room because I felt that unwell. Um, and it's the point where I feel like I'm actually going to be sick. I haven't, but 
it does make you feel nasty and you can get things like upset stomachs from the medication um i've had chest tightness and muscle aches and neck stiffness and things that i don't associate with ms particularly i'm thinking that's not related but when i've spoken to my ms nurse um because we've had to catch up after a couple of weeks um and she said that is normal that is what people go through when they go on this treatment it's one of the side effects you can expect so if something like that happens then don't be alarmed it is normal um but i would still speak to your ms nurse if you're really concerned or if things don't settle down after a week or so um just to make sure that everything is in check because i know sometimes they can carry out like blood pressure checks on you just to make sure that it is still doing the same as what it was in hospital so just to let you know not to freak out but just to talk because talking is the best thing to do um so these are the tablets they come in this box don't know if you can see that oh it's upside down there we go then, yeah um so these get delivered to me once a month by a health company and they look like this just little capsules which are really easy to take and then as i was saying they've got the monday to sunday guidance around it so you know which tablets you've taken um so i mean comparing it to capaxone it's so much less of a faff i mean it's just adding another pill to my pill pot and taking it in the morning whereas capaxone with the injections you take it out of the fridge wait for it to warm up a bit and then load up my injection auto inject gun thing and it was it just felt like such a hassle to me and i really didn't like doing it i didn't bother me it didn't hurt but it was just a pain so it's good in that sense these tablets but I'm still kind of getting used to the side effects I guess and they say after three months that things start to settle down and I really hope they do because <laughs> I mean today at work I felt really really unsteady and there's a couple of times at the weekends if I've been out I felt very faint um so yeah I mean fingers crossed it's all gonna be worth it in the long run and hopefully it's a medication that actually works for me directly um just wanted to say that obviously everyone's MS is different no two people with MS are the same so this is purely just my experience and I don't know if anyone else's would be the same or similar but I just thought I'd let you all know how I'm doing um I don't know if I'm gonna do another vlog to be honest it depends how my vision is but if you like the blogs, vlogs, whichever, then just let me know. Um, if there's any sort of topics you want me to talk about, whether that's related to MS or invisible illnesses or anything else, um, just let me know. Um, I'll put a link to my actual blog in the description below. And if you like it, then let me know. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Speak soon. Bye.